fractions. The number at the top is the numerator and the number at the bottom is the denominator. We read this fraction as one fifth. As you can see, the number in the numerator is read as a cardinal number and the number in the denominator is read as an ordinal number. If the number in the numerator is greater than one, then we add S to the ordinal number in the denominator. For example, two fifths. Let's now move on to decimals. The dot in the middle is the period or the decimal point. This is how we read it, 0 0.7. Or we could read it as we read fractions, 7 tenths. Although this is less common. Sometimes the zero is omitted and we say 0.7. If the decimal number is longer like this, then we say 82.777. We never say 82.777. This would be incorrect. All right, let's move on to square roots. The first symbol you see is the radical sign. Sometimes it's also called the square root sign. This is how we read this. The square root of four. If there is a number above the radical sign, then we use an ordinal number to refer to it, the fifth root of 64. However, there is an exception. If the number above the radical sign is three, then we do not say the third root of eight, but rather the cube root of eight. Okay, let's now move on to the last subsection, exponents. The small value is called the exponent. We read the number as 4 squared. If the exponent value is 3, like in this example, then we say 4 cubed. If the exponent value is greater than 3, like in this example, we read 4 to the power of 5, or we can say 4 to the 5th power. Alright, 